So I'm here at the stable, submerged by Olympic dressage riders. It feels quite satisfying. So Richard Davison and Laura Tomlinson. Richard, first and foremost, what's your involvement here at Bowlsworth? Well, I've been coming here to Bowlsworth since it started as a jumping show because I have show jumpers as well. And um, I suppose it seemed a natural inv uh, uh, involvement really from Nina to move it on to include dressage. And she is an amazing driving force behind Bowlsworth International and she's determined that uh, she includes the dressage and, and ramps it up like she has done with the jumping. So tonight we can look forward to some dressage to music with Laura as part of the team riding. Are we going to see some potential Olympic horses tonight? Well, we're definitely going to see some potential Olympic horses and we're not looking forward to some dressage. We are looking forward to absolutely top class because this is intermediate one level standard. It's the level below Grand Prix, but we've got some amazingly exciting horses. And I, I would honestly say that we've got a couple, if not more, of some of the best horses, not just in Europe, but in the world at this level. And we're very much hoping that some of those go on to make Olympic horses. And I'm standing next door to somebody that I'm sure, you, Laura, you're hoping your new horse will eventually graduate to the Grand Prix and, and to the Absolutely, Olympic level. Yeah, that's that's the plan for him. So he's an eight-year-old stallion, so he's still quite young for, for thinking about Grand Prix, but we're sort of plugging away at the movements at home and trying to teach him. And this sort of shows fantastic experience for those sorts of younger horses to get a taste for a big atmosphere, a big arena, and, and hopefully that they can cope with that later when it's really important in a team event. Sure. And so, Laura, we don't traditionally see you riding stallions, and he's a new ride for you. Just tell me a little bit about your relationship together. Um, well, yeah, he's very new. I've literally just had him a couple of months. Um, yeah, traditionally I've had geldings, but recently I have only mares and one stallion. So it's funny. It's not how I would usually pick it, but he was awesome and too good an opportunity to say no to when I was offered him. And he's, he seems like a complete gentleman so far, and hopefully he will be able to get his head around the atmosphere tonight and quite uh, prize money in for tonight. One of the biggest in dressage kind of history, around £7,000 in total prize money. That surely must be quite tempting. For, for this level, that's a very big uh, little uh, kitty going on there. So um, yeah, it's very tempting because obviously it's quite a long way for us to come up and um, it's a fantastic venue. It's a, it's a fantastic opportunity for us to compete our horses in a venue like this and good prize money. It's all very... Uh, Alluring. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, on that note, we look forward to this evening's performance and good luck. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you very much. Very much.